laundry night. JoJo's doing his undies and his socks. Anyway, today I'm gonna try to show you guys how I am going to unstick this intake valve on this 361 big block. There she is right there. So, if you tuned in last time, we got the engine running. We noticed we had a stuck valve, we tore it down. I tried like prying it up with a pry bar, spraying some stuff down around the guide. Didn't help. So now we have to take to more drastic measures. This is what I got. I have asking politely, asking with a little bit more force, and then finally, we're done asking, we're telling. I'm hoping not to have to use that. So what I've done in the past is I've been able to heat around the guide with a with a propane torch and it's got it warm enough where I could wiggle the, wiggle the valve back and forth. And then actually I did watch a couple YouTube videos, some dude, I forget who it was, but he had a, a stuck valve on a Lincoln. And once he got it to move back and forth, he put it on a drill and spun it and then worked oil in there with the drill, with it on the drill. So that's actually a really good idea. I, you know, I don't want to go reefing on it too hard because I'm afraid I'm going to bend the stem of the valve and then it'll be no good. So let me give you a little backstory on this here. This valve, I actually had the spring off. I, if you watched the previous video, I don't know if I'll show it or not, but I had the spring off and I was using the lever type uh, valve spring compressor. And when I went to go put it back on, I had tapped this down with the brass drift. I pushed it down too far, I can't pull it back up. So I'm having a hard time putting the other keeper in the valve because it's down near the I mean, right around here, it's getting pretty close to coil bind. So I bought a different type of valve spring compressor. I bought this El Cheapo Hobo Freight, Harbor Freight valve spring compressor. I noticed that on this lever type, which I was, I was using, it's got like real big jaws. And I was wondering if that was interfering with the last, the last coil. So I'm going to try this one. This one looks like more Chinesium. So we'll see how that works to get the spring back off. Anywho, look at here. JoJo's Lona Tool program actually pays off, right? My neighbor had to borrow some thread chasers. So as a thank you, he dropped me off some good old fashioned Wisconsin beer. So I'm glad that he did that. He didn't have to, obviously, but glad to help him where I can. So anyway, these old valves, they're not looking the best, as you can see. But yeah, we're gonna try the old Harbor Freight spring compressor on that one. See if we can grab that spring and retainer back off of there, and then we'll get to heating that guide up. So, okay, and we're back. After some ingenuity, I had to end up using this Chevy valve spring compressor, the old number 912. We'll use that on a big block or a small block Chevrolet sometime. So, anyway, we got this off spring, retainer, the one clip. What happened? I screwed up. I pushed the valve down while I didn't have the spring on and I, I actually tapped the valve down too far. So that was my bad. Now comes the fun part, the unsticking of the valve. We're going to try hitting this valve with a little crack torch first, a little butane deal. See what happens. She's pretty stuck in there. Before I do this, I probably should put the vice grips on the valve itself. Ooh. So if it does come loose, no, my luck, fall right down on the engine. How hot does an engine get? I don't know. Pretty hot, I guess. see what that does. <clears throat> we're going to use a little persuasion. All right, we're done asking. We are telling. Hmm, I wonder what that's doing. 
This is stripping the valve all the hell. I don't know, man. I think we might have done something. We need to clean up that valve stem a little bit. That's pretty gnarly. But I think we got it. How am I going to clean that up? And get some uh, emery cloth. Daryl fail. Well, after all that, we finally, finally got the valve unstuck. I don't know what this thing is. This little, I want to say it might be some kind of, some kind of tap holder or something that you can put on a 3 8 drive. Um, but it came in instrumental for holding the valve, getting it to twist, and then just working it back and forth. I'm sure. I'm going to keep putting more coil in there because there's rust and stuff that keeps coming up. If I can charge that cylinder with air, I can put the umbrella seal, the spring and retainer, and the keepers back in, and then that valve should be freed up. I already checked the other side. The other side is good. And then maybe with any luck, we can fire this hog up. Okay, current situation. We have the valve loose, which is great. The valve guide, mm, probably smoked. Doesn't matter, it was junk when we started. So what we gotta do now is we have to hold the valve up while we, before we take this off, because it's gonna fall on the engine. So what we've got here to do that is I got a, a leak down tester. It's screwed in to the spark plug, spark plug hole. We're going to charge that with air and then air pressure should hold this up. Click. I can undo this magic device and then we can put the spring retainer and the keepers in. They can hear a lot of leakage going into the crankcase. I can smell it real bad too. Probably got some stuck rings or scored pissing on this cylinder. All right, there's that. Did we screw this up? Oh my God. Yeah, fail. We screwed up this, oops. We screwed up this, this spring. Dang it. Well, there goes that. The spring, <laughs> we must have damaged the spring when we were messing with it or prying on it. It's collapsed. It's not gonna, it's not cracked or anything, but oh, this old car stuff, it's, all, it's always something. So I wanna order a spring. We'll do like part 17 or 37 of this thing. I'm gonna clean the garage up. It's Sunday night, it's time to go. Look, man, I gotta level with you guys. This is the hardest revival I've ever done. This damn car is fighting me tooth and nail. This first the valve was stuck bent the push rod and we got to finally got the valve loose but I'm sure we destroyed it I'm sure and now the spring I don't know if we heated it up and it bent or if we bent it prying on it or what the deal was but it's collapsed so I'm gonna have to order a spring because I don't have any spare big block Chrysler springs laying around here so I don't know we'll have to figure it out some other time part 37 or whatever I just, uh, Chevys are super easy. Chrysler's, they're testing my patience. So hopefully you tune in next time. Um, oh, we also got a big announcement. Alex and I have been talking about the channel and what we're doing and where we're going. And we wanna sit down, bounce some ideas off you. So stay tuned for that. As you know, I'm working a lot of hours, so I haven't been in the garage as much as I should or as much as I can. But, you know, we'll see if we can't make it work. So I appreciate you tuning in and we'll catch you on the next one.